Now I've been happy lately Thinking about the good things to come And I believe it could be Something good has begun Now I've been smiling lately Dreaming about the world as one well, thank you so much for your company this morning. Multi-award winning musician Darren Coggan is back in New Zealand by popular demand. His show Peace Train, a tribute to Cat Stevens, honours one of the most inspiring and prolific singer-songwriters of our time. And we are lucky enough to have Darren in our studio ahead of his tour of Christchurch, Wellington and Auckland. Welcome Darren. Thank you. Oh Mike, thank you. Thank you for having me. I must say, um, listening to that and also I heard you practising before because you're going to do a performance for us live. Sure. If you shut your eyes, it is like you are listening yeah. to Cat Stevens. Amazing. Do you get people in the audience sitting there with their eyes shut? That's right, yes. And is it offensive and or not offensive? <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully they're not falling asleep. But, uh, no, we don't. I mean, and that's how the show began. That's how the genesis for the show was from people telling me that I sounded like Cat Stevens. I look nothing like him. I keep telling people I'm the ginger cat. I'm the ginger fire <laughs> cat. But, um, yeah, so this, this comment came up all the time. I'd be touring around Australia, you know, hotels and, and pubs and clubs, and would often include a Cat Stevens song amongst my own material. And, and you know, people would come up and say, yeah, we, yeah, we like your stuff, but you sound just like <laughs> Cat Stevens. And, and it like, happened all the time. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was, I mean, it's a huge compliment, obviously, and for some reason there is a, a natural similarity there in the in the timbre of our voices. So, um, yeah, I just started. The conversations would then turn to whatever happened to Cat Stevens. Mm. You know, where is he these days? Is he still making music? And mm. and uh, sort of the deeper I dug in researching that question, the the more fascinated I became with his his journey of, of self discovery. And mm. we try to take our audience on that same journey uh, in our show. And that's what I've read about the reviews of your show. People just, they fall in love, they're crying, they just think yeah. it's a brilliant journey. Because, you you know, you tell us about his life as well. Is that how the show unfolds? That's it. So it's essentially, uh, there's 25 incredible songs from his, from his catalogue. All the hits, all the greatest hits. Moon Shadow, Wild World, Where Do the Children Play, Peace Train, obviously, Father, Father and Son, Morning yeah. is Broken. There's oh. so many songs when you hear them back to back. Yes. Matthew and Son? Here with Matthew and Son, oh, that's it, I Love My Dog. Yes. Oh, I Love My Dog, that's uh, one of my yeah, favourites. Yeah. Yeah. So many, uh, he was incredibly prolific in that, that 70s period. So we play all the hits and sort of woven ar around those songs we, we tell his stories, mm. which which I had the privilege of hearing firsthand from, from him. Dad himself. No yeah. way. Yeah, so it was a crazy experience, very surreal, where I had the chance to, to go to London to meet with Yusuf, as he's known these days, and sit down with him just like this. And, and, and we had fish and chips for lunch. And we sat there and, and, and he told me, you know, all these amazing stories uh, about his life as Cat Stevens in the 70s. So what's one of the most fascinating things that you took away from that? Apart from the fact that you're sitting down with Cat Stevens. <laughs> I know, it was very yeah, surreal. Awesome. It was really surreal. Look, just to, just to hear the fact that, you know, he, he's a very shy man, a very humble man, uh, very quietly spoken, softly spoken, as I imagined he would be. Mm. Um, but to hear all of those stories firsthand and to, and to, at the height of his career, this is what I wasn't aware of, that at the height of his career, he was incredibly discontent with... Uh, all the excesses, I guess, of fame and fortune. Mm. He was very uncomfortable with it and and wanted to escape all of that, you know. Uh, he was in a pretty dark place mm. uh, personally. His lifestyle choices weren't, weren't great. Um, and I think the only way in his mind he could separate the music world from that world was to completely remove himself from it altogether. It's a really fascinating and inspiring story. You know, I think the underlying theme of our show, of Peace Train, is that we all have that ability to make changes in our lives should mm. we not be content with who we are or where we are. And I think he's a really great example of that. Oh, so it sounds like the show's absolutely a brilliant experience, but speaking of experiences, did he make you sing for him? I, I, know. I, would, <laughs> I would have loved to. Uh, in a, in oh, a I don't know if I would have yeah, want, wanted well, to. Was, so what we did, we t I did take over my guitar yeah. in the hope that that might happen. Uh, we took over a DVD of, of our show and, and, sort of, and I gave it to him and said, look, this is, this is the show, this is what we're doing. Uh, he said, oh, well, let's put it on. Oh. And I said, well, you don't have to put it on now, like, <laughs> not while I'm standing here, but he did, you know, so there we were, it was excruciating, so there was uh, him watching me kind of emulate him, and uh, it was wonderful, but he said the most beautiful thing to me, we watched Father and Son, the song Father and Son, he watched my version of that, and then he turned to me, put his hand on my shoulder, and he said, well, 
That's pretty close. And I said, well, I'll take that. <laughs> that is incredible. What an endorsement. I know. Yeah. And yeah. Do, do you find, like, he, when you're singing his songs, do you take on his mannerisms or do you do your own thing? Yeah, I try. So it's it's not an impersonation. Yes. I don't come out and pretend to be him. Put your work uh, on, here I am, I'm Cat Stevens. No, no, no. I mean, I didn't. I, I think his music and his story deserves to be treated with such respect mm. and, and uh, so I, you know it's, it'd be foolish for me to try to pretend to be him. Vocally obviously there's a similarity there yes. um, but I, I have obviously studied his music and we, we, we try to recreate what it might have been like to see Cat Stevens at the height of his career with all those great songs and yeah we, I have studied it intensely. Sounds <laughs> awesome. What a good thing to come and go and watch, I reckon. Because yeah. oh, honestly, shut my eyes. I don't know if it's him or you in the background. Oh, thank you so brilliant. much. Thank you. you are brilliant. Darren's thank show, you. Peace Train, a tribute to Cat Stevens, endorsed by Cat Stevens himself, is in Christchurch <laughs> on Wednesday the 29th of August, Wellington on Friday the 31st, and in Auckland on the 1st of September. You can check out his Peace Train website for ticket details. Thank you so much, Thanks, Darren. Yeah. And you, don't go anywhere, because Darren is going to be performing Father and Son mm. for us live at the end of the show.